I think the biggest trend in finance is regulatory technology. I mean, every day regulations are evolving constantly. Um, given the type of business diversity you see now, businesses want to remain competitive against each other. They're coming up with number of product and service differentiation strategies, price differentiation, and to be able to manage all of that, regulators are stepping in, standardizing um, these processes, and in turn, regulatory technology is something that has evolved to be able to help businesses um, keep track of regulations, stay compliant, and yeah, remain competitive. So. I represent Bureau Van Dyke and we help companies around the world in remain compliant um, with applicable regulations. We cover business information, so basically that's company information around the world, around 220 million companies. And we try to link information to compliance, um, to, to finance, to credit, to procurement, to strategy. Basically helping businesses stay on top of how they want to implement their strategies but also how regulators want to help them um, with complying with their regulations. So we're sort of helping them in the space technology-wise, information-wise, and that's how we're operating. That's a very interesting question. So I think if I have to sum it up in one word, that's inclusion, right? So CFOs, CEOs, CIOs, nowadays, they have to keep forecasting where the businesses would evolve towards, which direction, which direction would regulations evolve towards, so staying prudent about not just this year or the next year, but say five years down the line. I think uh, a big part of their role now is to keep exploring um, the solution side as well. So, I mean, I deal with a number of C-level executives uh, on, on a regular basis, and you'll be surprised to know how many of them want to keep exploring different solutions um, to make their organizations more streamlined, um, more regulatory compliant, and yeah, in business-wise, more, more, more competitive. All right, from my uh, experience, to be very honest with you, a great leader is someone who has a set vision and strategy but who's able to implement it by reaching to the ground level. What I mean by reaching to the ground level is acting as one of the team members, the operational team, people who are responsible for taking actions and making a vision and strategy successful. So yes, first, top level, have a vision and strategy in place, but to implement it, you need to put up your sleeves, get into the, get into the pit.